Okay, we've got a four bit synchronous up counter made of 7474 D flip flops. Flip flop A, the first one, is just going to toggle on and off as not Q is connected to the D input. To figure out what the D input of flip flop B is, DB, we look at the truth table. And you'll see that the data input of B is the same as output A exclusive odd with output B. The truth table shows all the D, C, B and A Q outputs and the D data inputs too. And next we figure out how to wire up the data input of flip flop C, D, C. And that is equal to A and B exclusive odd with the Q output of C. And finally, DD or the data input of flip flop D. That is the same as A and B and C exclusive odd with QD. So what we're going to put in a seven segment decoder and driver, a 7448, which you can get on Proteus. Wire all the Q outputs out to the ABCD input and then a seven segment display common cathode with a ground. And it just counts from 0 to 15 and then resets and starts again. It would do that forever. So imagine we've got a single flip flop output. We're going to create a section for our reset, our master programmable reset using a two to one selector switch. And imagine there's four of them from our four flip flops. We need to match our switch inputs to the desired maximum count. Because we need a low signal from our NAND gate to reset or set our flip flops because that's how they work. When the count is 10, we need our switches to also match the binary equivalent of 10 to give us our active low reset signal from the NAND gate. And that's the same for any maximum count that you want. You need to change the switches to match that maximum count so that we always get an active low reset signal from our NAND gate. That is our maximum count circuit. Wire up all the Q outputs to the S2 inputs and all the not Q outputs to the S1 inputs of the switches. Wire all the reset pins together. At the moment it will reset at 15 because our switches say 1111 which is 15 in binary. Now it will reset at 7 and count up to 6. Because counters always count up to 1 less than the maximum count when it resets. So this is a programmable reset. We can reset the counter at any number up to 15. most common is resetting at 10 so it counts from 0 to 9 like with a digital clock. This is going to form our minimum count section. We have a tri-state buffer which is a door that allows the inputs to the outputs when 
the output is enabled through an active low signal. When the output enable input is high, it's in tri-state mode as if it's not connected. And when the output enable input is low, it's just an open door between the inputs and the outputs. And we'll use this to create our minimum count. So wire the output from the NAND gate to the tri-state buffer output enable and we need to put a NOT gate in between our set and reset pins of each flip-flop and get rid of the common reset wires that we had before. And we wire the buffer output to our flip-flop set pins so that when there's a logic one on the switch the flip-flop is set. There's a problem though, if we say we wanted to count from a minimum count of four, it would only do it at the moment on the second pass. So we need some additional logic. We need a master start-stop reset switch using a flip-flop. So the inputs to the exclusive OR gate are from the NAND gate reset signal and from the flip-flop. So we can change the signal state with the switch or it changes itself through the counting. On startup, nothing will happen, even though the clock's ticking away, because we haven't allowed the flip-flops to start counting. They permanently set or reset until we change the output enable of the tri-state buffer. So we can change our minimum count and our maximum count for that matter. And when that's done, we can start the counter with the button switch and now it will always count up from the minimum count to the maximum count every time. So there's our counter section, that's the main part of the circuit. That's our minimum count using a tri-state buffer which is frozen on starter. This is our max count plus one section, which will count up to the max count number and our master start, stop and reset switch. So it's a fully programmable up counter that's synchronous. At the moment, it will count from 0 to 15 because our max count is 15 and the minimum count is zero. Now we can set our minimum count, which happens asynchronously until we press start. So at the moment it will count from 3 to 9.
Now it'll count from six to nine. Now it'll count from zero to nine. So I hope you found this a useful video. It's a fully programmable minimum maximum count synchronous up counter using D-types. Any questions please comment below. Cheers.